welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a university elections web application by using this web application you can conduct the elections or vote in your institution is it the university or the college so how we can cast a vote so i am going to show you everything step by step this web application is full of features so don't miss any second you don't miss any feature okay so first of all i just copy my student id so i just go to my web application as of now you can able to see what is your voter type so right now my voter type is student i just select this student from the drop down and click on this next so when i click on this next as of now you can able to see it will uh, say me enter your id so i have copy this id and this particular id is only valid for cast the vote to the president okay so what is the president as of now you can see this is our candidates candidate seats so in our candidates these two persons are stand for the president and one from the computer science department and second from the business administrator department so as of now these two are candidates for the president so this particular student can only allow to vote for the president okay so as of now we just go here i paste our student id and click on this verify so i just click on this verify so when i click on this verify as of now you can able to see verification results so this student id data name department class session and admission year these are the read only he cannot able to change them okay now allowed positions president i already told to you this particular student can only be able to cast the vote to the president now we click on this proceed and checking your voting status so now we have loading candidates because we don't cast a vote before that so i just select here the president as of now you can able to see we have 10 candidates but here we have seen only two candidates because we are allowed for the president voting so i just select here and if i select the other the previous one d select so you can select one candidate and click on this submit so it will casting your vote so as of now your vote cast successfully so you can able to see the result between these two president candidates so president one have one vote and the other have zero vote so we just go back and again back and again back and click on this verify again so when we verify and right now when we click on this proceed checking your voting status you have already voted i have already voted but now i can only able to see the current results of that particular of that particular of that particular president's candidates okay so this is our case one now same go to for the staff id we just copy the staff id from here and go back and again back and again back and enter our staff id and click on this or oh, no 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 that's the student go back and again go back select the staff and click on this next and click on this verify so when i click on this verify as of now you can able to see the name is this the department is this and the allowed position is only the junior so as of now you can able to see here the data i have not updated in this section okay no problem no problem so the allowed positions this is the allowed positions okay so we just select here the allowed positions and go here and say copy this president and go to our staff id and select here the president now we go to our web application go back and click on this verify so when i click on this verify you can see allowed positions is president and click on this proceed so when i click on this this proceed here you can see here you have already voted why it say we have already voted one thing here i want to show you okay the thing is that we have make the same data of the student id here and the staff id here i do this by i do this because i want to show you the student id or staff id don't be same 
otherwise you face this issue so what you need to do you need to do here stock okay you need to add here stock okay you can add it you can start with and other for example you can start this stuff and you can start the student id from st whatever you want to do just copy this and go to our web application go back and again go back and again go back and uh, enter our id and click on this verify so when i click on this verify as of now you can able to see when i click on this proceed now the thing is that uh, it allow us to cast the vote so one thing i want to show you that the student id or the staff id never be same why because when the system check from this uh, from this voter list a column that particular student id is already exist so it will give you the error so the student id or staff id must be different so i think i make you this difference clear and tell you the importance of the unique ids okay so i just click on this submit so when i click on this submit as of now you can able to see our vote is going to be casting and you can see here the casting vote for this president is 2 and this president is 0 okay so this is the case we have discussed now we need to go back to the staff students id and we uh, just select this particular this particular id okay as of now we just copy this and you can see able to see here the president and vice president so this particular student can only be able to cast vote to president or vice president seat how we just come here select student click on this next and enter their id select student click on this next enter the id and click on this verify so when we click on this verify as you can see here the president or vice president and click on this proceed so when we click on this proceed as of now it will loading the candidates and it will check as of now you can able to see the president and vice president we just select here and select here and click on this submit so it will casting our vote okay so as of now you can able to see the results of the current the president or the vice president okay so as of now if we take another example this student id this student id allowed categories is nothing so it means it can be able to cast the vote to all the categories okay we go back and paste the id here and click on this verify so when we click on this verify as of now you can able to see when we click on this proceed it will loading candidates so you can see here all the candidates comes here we just come here select the voting from where we want to add the vote and click on this submit so when we click on this submit it will says your vote is casted so you can see here the results as well so you understand one more thing why president and vice president if you give him the two categories at a time you must need to add this separate comma so it will identify that these are the two that these are the two values so hope you understand this okay the one and last thing in the candidates you can add the candidate the president this is the position and in the student id allowed category or allowed positions okay you can add here for example you can uh, conduct a vote in your class okay in your class you can add here the class cr you can add here the cr 10 okay i just come here the cr 10 so if you want that your particular students can only be allowed to vote to the cr10 you just paste it here cr10 and copy the student id and uh, go back when you go back and again go back and again back and paste the id here and click on this verify so when you click on this verify as of now this is the cr10 and uh, cr10 only one candidate so as of now you can see here the one candidate is come here and click on this submit so when you click on this submit all things done and the last thing is that you don't need to upload images anywhere you just copy uh, upload the image in your google drive and go here and paste it here so it will automatically uh, make the image link to the viewable so we thank you very much to watching this video uh, please subscribe and comment for the next video ideas thank you very much take care